At the end of every day, I'm going to add one mod to this Stardew Valley farm. But I'm not the one picking which mods we're going to use. Each episode, I'll be joined by a different content creator, and they're going to control the future of our farm. By the end of our first year, we'll have over a hundred different mods installed, and we'll be able to show off the hard work of everyone who's been a part of it. Welcome to Modded Meadows. Whoa. Yeah, I'm having a crisis over here. Something's messed up on my end. I could probably fix it though. Let's see, windowed borderless. There we go. The only problem is it's stuck. It's stuck in 3840 by 2160 and I can't change it. You're in 4K. All right, well, you're experiencing yeah. this game in 4K. <laughs> yeah, and I don't have a choice, so off we go. Off we go. We're uh, we're heading to Pierre's. The first mod that you've introduced is, what's it actually called? I think it's just called Fruits and Veggies. It's called Fruits and Veggies. <laughs> yes, Fruits and Veggies. It adds tons of fruits and veggies. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's the only one that I've ever played with that actually adds things to the game because it's very simple and I can actually understand it. So it adds some new crops to every season. My favorite of which, can you take a guess? Oh man, uh, passion fruit seeds? 100%. Oh dude, you seem because like a passion fruit kind of guy. The thing is, I love all the multi-harvest crops. I love mm -hmm. the bloobers, I love the cranberries. However, I, I don't like the strawberries because it's obnoxious to have to buy them at the egg festival halfway through the season. Mm -hmm. What these are is it's it's like the spring equivalent of blueberries and cranberries. It's like a one-time purchase thing. It's, it's multi-harvest and it's great and I love it. Oh my God. All right, well, I'm committed. Let's get at least one of everything here. Oh, all right, you got a lot okay, of Okay, yeah, well, I bought 10 passion fruit by the way so oh you can God. work with the rest of the cash <laughs> of course you did already the rest of it is your let me know when you've bought one of everything i'm gonna buy two of everything okay well then let me know when you're done with your purchases so i can okay, blow okay. the rest on passion fruit i want to experience something other than just passion fruit okay go ahead passion nah. fruit it up okay there we go sorry wally but there goes your money <laughs> so yeah that, that's exactly what i wanted to do on this on this series that's, yeah, that's my bucket list I was done say, I don't, i've never added a mod that changes any like core parts of the game's mechanics either i don't think outside of like battle royale yeah i only ever play with visual mods i, I just like them they're is. they're beautiful okay so these are like regular crops oh they're potatoes wow the ui suite told me what they were i'm gonna plant some yeah look at that here. there you go boom boom basil nice the ui thing even works for this right now cabbage onion, wow that's awesome parsley and spinach and then you got your own thing nice. going on down here oh you better believe <laughs> so yeah those are our fun fruits and veggies and that's cool. literally the entirety of that mod Cool. All right. I, I want to go steal from Wallagug's corpse right now. I'm going to run to Mayor Lewis and see if he had any good stuff for you. And then also the mines are open for the first time today. So if we really wanted to, Ooh. we could do the mines. We, we'll have some community center donating to do Very tomorrow. Well Just some regular actual progress. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm all, I'm all for progress. I forgot how this worked. So the automate mod will also like automatically check trash cans for you. It'll take ah, one of those in trash that's... cans and it will put it in a chest. But I forgot that's how it worked last time. Like I misunderstood. I thought you would put stuff in a chest and connect it to a trash can and then it would throw it away for you. That would be more trouble than just using the one in your inventory. Yeah, honestly. All right, let's see. Gug. Okay, he's got a bunch of tools. Nothing useful. What did he do the entirety nice. of the last time he played with us? Come on, Gug. That's a good question. I mean, I, all I haven't known is running around. So let's do mines tomorrow. I also want to try yes. to get all of the trash cans to the point where they get searched automatically. I think that's every good, single one. I like every that. Every one of them. I think that's a good little goal because we can just set it and forget it and we'll come back at the end of like a year and we'll be rich. Oh, we have cash. That's true. Cash money. Yeah. This is the efficient gameplay. I like that. That I'm trying to teach everyone. If you press U, it'll show you what's connected via the automate mod. So like for my oh, stream I right see. here, if you press this, see how this is all red? That means this path isn't doing anything. But then as soon as I put a chest here, boom, it becomes green, connected. That's really cool. This mod has come a long way since when I got the game in 2016 and watched a YouTube video about it. I can make a chest now. Yes. I'm on my way. Go get them trash can goodies. And I'm almost halfway to level one foraging. Oh, perfect. We should I'm cruising. see if we can grab any more forage for our last little bit here, because I think we're going mines tomorrow. Okay. Uh, where do you want the chest? Go find a trash can in town. And so we can start okay. collecting that precious, precious. Oh, I thought trash. we were just going to use paths to connect them all to one chest. I guess you can do that also. And that's probably safer because if an NPC walks through a chest, yeah, exactly, it'll break it. That's so, strats. Yeah, maybe we should do that too. Maybe that makes more I'm gonna sense. I'm going to do that. Both of the southern trash cans are covered. So they're done. And I'm going to find some wood, I guess. It's 11. Oops. 
But that's a successful day. I, I think uh, I did really we, well. We bought some crops. You did well. I made one chest. Level one farming. You made a chest. All right. Successful day. But next is a little, uh, this, is, this is a different kind of mod. Uh, so this one is called Piano Valley. And everybody loves the music in Stardew Valley. It's classic, right? But every once in a while, some variety couldn't hurt. So mm -hmm. I found a mod that replaces most of the in-game tracks with really soft and soothing piano covers. And they sound honestly better than I expected. So can I oh, it's so lovely. Wow. Get ready to hear this for the entirety of the playthrough. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, well, we're off to wow, the Wow, you have so. animation canceling on? Good Lord. I know, while ago it forced me to turn it on last time and I realized I can't. Oh, I never, back. I literally, the second the cup ended, I turned it off and I will probably <laughs> never turn it back on. It's too stressful for me. Community center is now open. I think it's a bad luck day. Yeah, according to UI Suite, it's the worst possible luck day. Oh, so. perfect, that is right there. Maybe I'm having a really tough time finding letters. All right, have no fear. Dumpy is here. Get this idiot. Four sword. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, duplicated. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I got to. Let me. Oh, I'm already like the second Wally is not in office. <laughs> I'm crushing it over here, making long term investments. This is level 10. Do you want to go for 15? Let's go for it. We'll see. Maybe we'll get some it's goodies fine. here. There's green algae back there. That could actually be helpful. Oh, for sure. All right. I uh, absolutely cannot die here. I'm never going to hear the end of it. Get off me, bug. Oh, I can't kill the bugs because of the server lag. No. Sorry, right. I'll protect you. My, my oh, friend. no. I am the I bug can't. Slayer. It has no knockback, so it just keeps cruising through me. We got to get to level 15 today. All right. That's the, uh, the official goal. Yes, we're so close. This will be easy because there's a ladder Let's at the go. end of this one. Yeah. All right. We only need one more level here. I was hoping for a I'm ladder. Gonna... All right. Got one. I just want to do it. a speed run that has no animation canceling. I'd enjoy that. Animation canceling frustrates me and hurts my fingers. It Stop. is annoying, but it feels so slow when you don't have it. No, it does not. It feels nice and easy and I like it and it's calming. I, don't, I never play Stardew Valley to like, like I play Rocket League when I'm looking for something engaging and fast paced. Another day comes to an end. All right, what's our next mod? We're getting visual. We're, we're getting visual. Let's with this do it. Now. I think we do Star Blue. All right, Star Blue Valley. Oh, I love Star Blue Valley. Anyone who's watched my videos knows I'm freaking in love with this mod. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's, there it is. Look at the menu. Ooh. Wait a second. It's, it's so nice. So this mod changes what specifically? This is like... Um, this mod, it just it just recolors and, and retextures a lot of things. Especially the trees look a lot nicer. And the UI is a nicer color. Yeah, it just it like recolors so everything looks a lot more natural. Clint looks beefy. Oh my god. Where do I see Clint? Anime portraits. Well, I picked up some copper ore for the first time. <laughs> I forgot. Clint, I forgot Clint is a portraits. fine young lad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go say hi wow. to Clint. I wanna see him. Oh wait, our potatoes are ready. I would Let's genuinely play with this on my own time the piano valley i very much enjoy this look at the pink trees look oh, at all the, the pink trees the it's beautiful yeah i love star blue valley it's great this is, this is rather beautiful i used this mod in my 100 and 200 days videos mm. and i don't think i would have made it through without this mod. <laughs> i had a chest right here and that chest is now gone i also oh have a someone walked here. through it i guess yeah. i guess this is not a safe path either is penny about to walk right through there and prove my point i want to see Ugh. No, oh, not dude, she's quite. Flirting with it though. My chest stayed because I'm a smart boy. We gotta find one good chest location and route everything to that. Let's I got a that. green Let's... algae. I'm gonna work on that as uh, as my goal. Oh, I want to talk to Gunther too because I don't think I've talked to Gunther with the anime mod. Oh, I wonder what he looks like. <laughs> Whew. I forgot what Clint looks like, dude. He's seen some stuff, man. He's he's hot. It's crazy. Let's let's see Gunther. Oh, oh and I got an artifact spot. I need to get my hoe too, I guess. I'm, let's uh let's gather some more wood here and let's let's start the great connecting of the of the chests. How are we? Do okay, I, I'm just gonna pick a chest and I pick the one all the way to the south, bottom left, because that one's safe for sure. Right. Yeah, I need to meet everyone now with these portrait mods because I haven't. All I've seen is Penny and Clint, go, and that's it. Go pay a visit to Gus right now. Let me let me come catch up with. You. Oh, Gus. I wonder what he's going to yeah, look like. Let me catch up with you first, though, here. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm entering. I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, Gus. What do you look like? He looks the exact same. Oh, he does not. <laughs> you can't he looks tell the me. exact same. He looks like one of the chipmunks from Alvin and the Chipmunks. I'm almost done with this whole trash can project, by the way. I've already yeah, linked three trash I cans. A couple other ones too. See, our trash cans are now connected nice. to multiple chests. What's that gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna just walk around and destroy a lot of the other chests. I'm gonna make the bottom left one the the main chest. Um, can't someone, believe you. Bug, please, in my chat, do not say Clint Awuga. 
please please refrain from that in the future. Yes, Thank you. continue, dude. I've okay. So the I got two. I got three trash cans so far connected to the one bottom left. Chat four. I have four. Five. <laughs> five. I'm now. <laughs> what was recounting. the final count on that? Five. All right, so now we have our automatic trash collecting system in place. All right, so the next mod that I've picked out for us all, this is called L's Seasonal Buildings. Uh, and this one I always use in conjunction with Star Blue Valley because what it does, it just re-sprites all of the buildings, makes them look nicer and makes them seasonal. So they look different in each season. So like they might have some nice little fall leaves on the roof or like little Halloween decorations in the window in fall or like uh, Christmas decorations in the window, something like that. It's it's very nice. This is this one I've used as long as I've used Star Blue Valley and they are my two favorites. I just, I love the way it looks. It adds to my aesthetic dreams in Stardew Valley. <laughs> oh, the yeah. house looks much nicer now. Yeah, yes. the white. Cool, cool, cool. It's lovely. All right, so the spinach is ready. Yeah. Uh, inventory is a fool. There you Get go. Some pads in here. I'm just going to drop the spinach in the chest so, you, so everyone can see it. I put fiber in their bags. So there you go. He's strong to the finish because he eats his spinach. It's true. Can you cook anything with this mod? I don't... Th uh, I think there's a, a separate mod that adds new recipes, but I do but since it's a separate mod, I don't have it. Oh, well the collections tab includes all these new things. So I'm gonna sell, oh. I guess both of them. I don't know why we'd hang on to them. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't think any of these are like original. Oh, community center time, let's go. Ooh, I'll, I'll get it watch as this well. whole cutscene because I, I haven't watched this cutscene in a while. You can't get in. Oh, a key change. Oh, the wizard. He looks like wow. a- Wow, he looks angry. Dude. He does. He <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's got gas. If I if I do, he looks like he's going so. you. All right, uh, I'm gonna check on up. our trash can chest really Ooh, quick. Yeah, dude, big haul today in the trash. Oh man, we got two yeah, it's, it's count of two green algae. Let's go and much trash. Much trash. Um, Where are we going? What are we doing? Well, I was gonna say, are the only buildings that are different the farm buildings? Uh, no, actually. Well, everything is just recolored. Like the the community ah. center here is a little bit nicer. It's mostly yeah. Right now, it's just the farmhouses because that's all we have. But the greenhouse looks a ton nicer when it's finished. All the obelisks look really nice instead of just big old pillars. They look like little huts. I, I also like that part about the series is like eventually we're gonna get that stuff and then it's just gonna look different and I'm literally gonna have no idea what from. Okay, I so need we have a the portrait. coal and fiber because I wanna build a scarecrow. Uh, there's some coal in one of the chests. There's like one piece of coal, which That's is all you need. need. Oh, there's 10. Oh my God, we're living lavishly right now. Craft scarecrow. Nice, and I think that's money. Work. Isn't that money? That's money. Yeah, do you want to craft a scarecrow before you leave for another money. 100 gold for the next person? Uh, no, the next person can suck it. So, yeah, I'm okay. good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my Dude, problem, nice not my economy. Idea. What did we even do to Tay? I feel like we made we, no progress. Trash collection system. We the got trash the collection floor system. Floor 50 in the mines. Yeah. Made some extra cash. Got some passion fruit in the ground. We did a good amount of stuff. I'd like to think that circle. that most of my um, progress that I made today was just making the game nicer for everyone to look at. Wow. Well, thank now you. Now you all get to I enjoy the recolor that. with me. All right, let's let's tuck into bed. You want to sleep together here for this last night? I'm going to go put my fish in the trash chest, though. Oh, this is the, the shipping bin? Yeah, boom, boom, I like boom. the shipping from a distance. Let's sleep in uh, Wally Gug's house. How about Sounds it? good to me. What a day. What a day. Therm, thank you for joining me, man. I think... Thanks for having me. We made a little bit of progress. Look at that. We sold spinach. That's a, that's a lot of progress. That's pretty cool. That's Honestly, some pretty cool like, progress. And we have a we have an automated we, we invested in our future now that we, we have did, the trash collection. We did. You invested in the, the future like mechanically and visually. Aesthetically. I really appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. Woo! Oh my god. Alright, well uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Modded Meadows. Thank you for watching.